is to me and uh, our e church family. We got we bless God for you, Lord, as Bishop of Freya Sin. Amen. And uh, we're going to go ahead into testimony service. We know that the hour is drawn and had to get some things situated, but we bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Lord, we come to you as a humble servant and no more than a vessel, God. We ask you that you will fill this empty cup. Fill us with your anointing and fill us with your presence. God, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for the remission of our sins, God. We thank you for greater experience. And God, we thank you for our overseer, the Apostle Andre Harris, God. We ask that you will keep your arms of protection around him and his family. Keep him strong. Keep him healthy. Keep our king healthy as well, God. Keep Chris strong. Keep his mind stayed on you, God. For you are the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, and there is none other who we enjoy and love serving, God. For you are our God. You are our keeper. You are our provider. You are our king. You are our everything, God. And without you, God, we are nothing. God, we thank you for reigning. We thank you for declaring. We thank you for manifestations. We thank you for prosperity, God. We thank you for help. We thank you for life, God. We thank you for family, God. We thank you for praise, and God. We thank you for our enemies, God. We ask that you will send your anointing into this place on today, that there may be a rich word, God. A rich word for God's people that will keep the people of God as they journey through their life day by day, God. Use the apostle on today, God. Impart in him that he may impart it to the people of God. That the word will be a keeper, the word will be a divider, the word will be a sustainer, God. Only you can do it. But do it through the man of God on today, God. We ask that you will bless and keep. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Amen, amen. All right, so we're going to do testimony a little different this week. Amen. I just want to go around and we're going to. On this week. Um, amen. To our e-church family, if you want to put it in the chat, you are more than welcome to put it in the chat. Uh, but one thing that the Lord has done for you on this week, I'll start while I have the mic. Um, I thank God for waking me up this morning. Uh, my mother has a uh, her heart is at a 38 uh, percent right now. So where uh, where things are coming from, amen. And uh, so the doctors are doing some uh, testing that they were prepared to do on her. And uh, if it's not where they think it should be, they're talking to simulators. Um, amen. But I know God to be a healer. Amen. I know God that I, I know a God that can take a three percent turn into a thirty percent. So so you know I'm not worried about a thirty-eight percent, amen. Um, I know God can change that thirty-eight percent to a seventy percent uh, because he's God, amen. And so we are just believing God on her behalf. Um, we're believing God. Um, this week I, I was praying and I was asking God to show me some things because, you know, we, we just came out of our 30 days of fast, our 21 days of fasting, 30 days of manifestation. Um, and last week we declared the fast over. This week uh, the manifestation has ended right after the fast. And I thank God because, like, truthfully, the manifestation journal opened my eyes to stuff about me that I thought I got over. Yeah. Amen. And I was able uh, for 30 straight days to deal with me. And I kept saying, Lord, whatever you do, let me, throughout my prayer, throughout this manifestation journal has been, let me be able to deal with the person I see in the mirror. Amen. Um, because we, we, we look at the mirror for our beauty and we look at the mirror for things that are great, amen, but we never look at the mirror to ask ourselves, what is it that I'm missing about concerning me, amen. And so I was able this week to really, um, in this month, 30 days straight, to be able to deal with me. And that, so that's what I'm thanking God for the most this week. God allowed me to deal with issues that I have held on to since 
Lord Jesus, amen, uh, since teenage years and college years and ad early adulthood, amen. And I realized as I look back over some things that I've been through a lot in my short time here, um, but I thank God that I'm able to simply look in the mirror now and be happy completely with the person I see. That makes a difference uh, when you look in the mirror and you say, well, you look good, but then you look in the mirror and you're happy with everything you see from the top of your head to the sole of your feet to the things that's not even reflecting back from the mirror. Amen. That's on the inside of you, that your insides are pure. Um, and, and so I was looking at this uh, cartoon while I was trying to fall asleep yesterday. And uh, this meme pops up, and you know they have a lot of them, but it's like, how I sleep knowing. And one came up that uh, last night that just said, how I sleep knowing I'm good with me. Amen. You know, and I looked at that meme and I said, I know that's right. And I closed the computer and turned off the TV and closed my eyes and woke up this morning. And I said, Lord, yesterday my mom was so drained. And I kept saying, Lord, I, I'm going to wake up tomorrow. She might not be here. You know, and so as I was just praying last night, the Lord said, just begin to declare and decree. Walk through the house and declare and decree. And I began to do that. I peeked in the room. She was snoring with the dog. I kept on moving. Amen. And so when I got Amen. to my room and I closed my eyes last night for good, I said, she going to be all right. Be all Amen. Right. And so she woke up this morning. She texted me, picking me up from work. I said, that depends on how the spirit flows. I can't guarantee you Sundays. We probably I already told you that. Right. Amen. But I thank God that I was able to just close my eyes and know that no matter what, I'm completely and wonderfully made. And everything I've been through, I've been through for a reason. Amen. It was an appointed season, but I got through it. And, and so God is just continuing to do new things, greater things. Amen. For this uh, season. And I believe that this year is about to shift a whole new trajectory in my life. And I'm just waiting for God to do what God does. So continue to keep me in prayer. Continue to pray for our, our first family as a whole. Yes, Amen. Lord. And I will continue to keep you guys in prayer. Anybody? <laughs> well, I'm grateful for uh, you know, my grandmother. Uh, yeah. she, she got a glow about her. Okay. okay. Uh, last time I seen her, she was looking you know, it's, it's about that time. Now she's looking like, hey, nothing going on. <laughs> Her skin blowing. You know. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, that's one thing as well. Mood increase. Pants. We have pants. Oh, so you good. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it, it was just like, uh, you know, with everything that I've been through, it just, I feel like the clouds is no longer over. Yeah. I see it. You got days or whatever, but for the most part, it's like, life is good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> life is good. I like that. Life is good. I like that. Life is really good. I'll tell you, I thank God for, for who he is in my life. I've been through something that I've never thought I'd go through before on this past week. But God took a bad situation, brother, and made it a good thing. I was able to, I was, in a, I was in a situation and no matter where I stepped, there was a couple people that I had an opportunity, even in your bad places, you know, yes. I, I you, Lord. even in your bad places, and, 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 and you're in a, and, and a bad spot in your life, God is still God and he shows up no matter where you are. I was able to be where I was, I was walking around and, and a couple gentlemen would stop me. And they would say, who are you? I was like, I'm just born. I'm born. I didn't tell them who I was or anything like that. They said, you some type of preacher, aren't you? And I said, yes, the Lord has called me to the ministry. I said, I'm not necessarily a preacher. I'm not necessarily a bishop. I'm not necessarily a pastor. But I'm a minister of the gospel. And I'm trying to live a life that's pleasing to God. Amen. I'm not what I used to be, but I'm a, and I ain't what I'm about to be, but I'm a whole lot better than what I was. Amen? That's right. That's right. But the thing that I want you to know is that when you get into the face of God, when you get into God's presence, that no matter where you are, people see God. I, I would walk by people and people would say, every time you walk by, my spirit jumps. Yeah, yeah. They said, you bring such a joy to me. I, I had an opportunity to minister to somebody and stop them from committing suicide. 
I minister to the Muslims. I, I talk to the people who have gifts and they want to come over and join the church and come see about the church. I tell you that when you stay in God's face, I, I thank God for the fast. I, I thank God for the manifestation season because it allowed me to get back into the presence of God like never before, even in my bad place. That's right. Even in my bad place. He's kept me. Yeah, yeah. He has kept me. They don't have any income coming in, but my bills are paid. That's right. Amen? Amen. I'm paying my bills. That's right. Because he is God. Thank God for the apostle. Because I, I felt that, you know, it's something when you are connected. Amen? Yeah. You can feel when your leaders are praying for you. Because they're praying out of love and out of hurt. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? You can feel it. You can't, sometimes you sit up there wondering why you can't sleep because your, your, your covering is covering you. Amen? Right. <laughs> it's pulling up. Amen? Your covering is covering you. And I thank God for that. You know, I, I got a couple more challenges to go through, but y'all keep me in prayer. Y'all keep me in prayer, keep my family in prayer, keep the church in prayer, keep the apostles in prayer, keep the mother in prayer, keep the king, that's what I call you king, <laughs> keep the king in prayer, but keep Bishop in prayer too. I'm going on another fast myself in about a week right after um, reaffirmation comes. I'll be fasting again because I'm seeking God for something. And, and, and if you know anything about Bishop, when Bishop fasts, something happens. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> when Bishop passed, something happened. And so y'all just keep me in prayer, keep me lifted, and I'll do the same for you. Yeah. That's that's something as well too that I was experiencing like the energy of people being drawn to you. Mm -hmm. It's like an unspoken way. Like literally I just be sitting there in the most quiet way, babies being attracted to me. People just wanting to just talk like you know, like just asking weird off the wall questions. It's not weird in the judgment of what but it's like, <laughs> of all questions you ask that. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's like people are naturally just more drawn to you. Like you hear that too? Amen. Amen. We must go. It's it's been it's been weird with cars and so that's that's my biggest fight with cars. It's, it's good all around the board and I'm watching. Um, that's why I kind of, that's the only reason I like this spot is because I'm watching to see, amen, um, what God is doing and what he's allowing, amen, in this season. Um, yeah, we, we are excited. Um, these, these manifestation days have been dynamic, um, and then I bless God for um, just the, the outpouring that has come. Um, even from the people who weren't, who's not a part of our church that goes to the other churches. I had a pastor call me and they said, uh, man, uh, one of my members gave me your number. I hope that's okay. I said, because I know what you called me for. Um, amen. And so uh, he went on me and he said, I, I peaked uh, the 30-day journal you did with your believers. And I just wanted to give permission to use it. Amen. He said, because we just left our fast. Uh, we just we just finished our fast. He said, but I do believe if I tie this into the fast, like we did the fast, but now if we do this journal, I think it might actually take the believers to another level. I said, oh, you can use it, you know. Um, it wasn't my idea. It was just something the Lord told me to do. I've seen other manifestation journals online um, because I always do manifestation journals with myself. Amen. But I said, um, but I do believe that the Lord is calling the church to, to deal in this season, um, deal with how we look at things, deal with how we uh, allow things to concern us, deal with what we allow to overtake us. Um, and, and so I just, I believe that God is dealing in this season. And so I was excited um, to receive that call. But then the next day I had another bishop call. And then the next day, I had another pastor call. And then the next day, I had somebody's sister who called. And, and you know, and, and so I said, wow, you know, if, if I would have took this 30-day manifestation online, I said, that might have actually did some things, you know. So we're going to continue even next year um, when we go into our, our, our opening fest uh, for the year. We're going to continue to do the manifestation um, as God sees fit. But 
I just really want you guys to know that um, it's exciting when you can see the hand of God move. Amen. Um, I do believe that God is making room uh, for greater experience in this uh, season. Um, I do believe that God is doing something different for us in this season um, and that we were not designed to be like the other churches. Um, and so that's where my gratefulness comes in. Amen. Um, I, I don't I don't I stop trying to keep count of how many people are watching a uh, live stream. I stop trying to keep track of the YouTube channel um, and the website, actually, of how many visitors we have. And I just say, Lord, whoever you send through the doors, let them send through the doors. Whoever you send through e-church, let them join through e-church. But my job is to minister to the total being. Amen. Um, so no matter if they join us live or they join us through each church, they still belong to the house. Amen. Amen. And Amen. so our job is to make sure that the house is covered. And if that means I gotta pray with you, then I'll pray with you. If it means we gotta fast together, we gonna fast together. If I gotta speak over your life because that you're in the moment where you just can't speak over yourself, Amen. Then that's that's what we're here to do. Amen. And so the Lord sends them, Bishop trains them, and I, and I cultivate them. It's what we do. Amen. And as the Lord begins to build the house, amen, we'll assign others to do other things. Amen. amen. Because before we started, I can't tell you how many people were, oh, I'll be glad when you want Bishop open your church. I'll be glad when y'all get y'all building. I'll be glad when, well, we here. Amen. And so I asked somebody last week, I said, well, we here, where are you at? And they stopped and paused for a minute. Well, I'm going to get there. You know, I've been trying to. No, 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 no. I don't do excuses. Amen. I'm in a season, Bishop, that if, you know, whatever you want from God in this season, you got to go after it. You got to go. Come on, sir. Amen. And so we got to stop giving God excuses. Because I believe in 2024, when we grew out here, we about to throw right back at us. You know, God, I, I would get to church, but I'm tired. Well, I would heal you, but I'm tired, too. You know, because we have allowed ourselves to enter into so many things that God is now tired of hearing our foolishness. Look at what's going on in the world. Look at look at how many people are dropping like flies. You know, and, and then we wake up every day knowing that last night could have been our last night. But we wake up every day and and we're not grateful enough on, the, on a Sunday to come into the house of God and give God praise. Like, I just believe God is going to shift this atmosphere uh, of believers. But I do believe that some people will hear, instead of hearing, well done, they're going to hear too late. Too late. And I feel sorry for those people. Because some of them are great, are great hearted people that have so much to live for, yet nothing to gain. You know, and so we have to be able to bless the Lord. We welcome once again those who are on our East Church family. We welcome those who are live streaming. We continue to be in prayer. Um, those on our prayer call, the uh, family of Aurelius Palmer, let's keep them in prayer. Amen. Let's keep the family, uh, the Walker family in prayer. Amen. Um, and those that are connected. Uh, amen to Brother Walker, who uh, has, or Brother Crosby, I'm sorry, um, the Crosby family. Let's continue to keep them in prayer. Um, the uh, Sister Diane Emery, amen, uh, we were praying for her healing, and I caught her in the grocery store on yesterday. Amen. She's looking good. She, she was walking good. Uh, she was doing her own grocery shopping and pushing the cart, and I couldn't get upset about that. Amen. Let's continue to keep uh, our overseer and our prophet Hamilton Amen. in prayer. Amen. Uh, let's continue to keep our congresswoman, uh, Lisa Mark Rochester, and the Blunt family in prayer. Um, Amen. We're going to continue to keep uh, Brother James Williams in our prayer. That's uh, overseer Karan Walker's cousin. Amen. We're going to keep him in prayer. We're going to continue uh, to keep. Uh, Sister Newton in prayer, amen. I wish I knew her whole real name, amen. But we know her by Newton, but she's a legend on the east side. We'll continue to keep her healing in prayer, uh huh. Continue to keep her healing in prayer, amen. And we do want to continue to keep uh, others in our prayer as we continue to do uh, the will of God, amen. Continue to uh, keep uh, our church families in Africa in prayer, amen. Let's pray for California on this week, they are uh. 
uh, in the path of a storm that they know will be deadly from L.A. to San Diego. Amen. Um, and we want to pray that the Lord shifts the wind. Amen. Because that, number one, that's a huge cover. Amen. From L.A. Uh, all the way down the coast to San Diego, that's a huge, that anything outside of that is Mexico. Amen. And so we want to be able to continue to keep the, that, that, that region in our prayer because, let's be real, if it shifts that big into California and it moves through, it has to keep going. Amen. And, and there are parts of the world in that side of the, of, of the West Coast that cannot deal with the torrential storm of that magnitude. Amen. The weatherman said yesterday, if this storm hits, somebody will not make it out. For a weatherman to be able to say that, and knowing the foolishness of the weather channels who, uh, who love to send their people into harm's way, just to say we're the first to cover, amen, um, I, I want to pray that the, that the winds shift, that, that just when they touch the shore, God steps in and says, peace be still, amen, uh, that the wind and, and the storms must obey. Amen. And and so they were talking, you know, saying, you know, the Emmys is this weekend, and this is this weekend, and this is this weekend, and we may not see none of it, you know. And so I was like, wow. And I, I began to think to myself, like, God, I got a family in San Diego. I got a family, you know, uh, friends in Los Angeles. And if this, you know, for a weatherman to say, you know, I'm telling y'all, if the storm touches, it's going to take out people. And I'm like, whoa. That, to me, that's like, you know, saying we get a hurricane in Delaware. Because I already know we get when we off the map. Yeah. And so here we have something that is not an earthquake, not a, a monsoon, just a, a rainstorm. Amen. Uh, that is preparing to take out. I want us to continue to keep on our calendar. Uh, so much going on. Uh, but we do have the reaffirmation service. Ooh. Uh, on next week, I am excited. Um, at, at what God is it next week, Bishop, or the week after next? No, it's it's the week after next. Week. I got two more weeks, two more weeks. I'm getting excited. Uh, about two more weeks until our, our reaffirmation hey! service, uh, February the 17th. Woo! I am excited. Um, chief Apostle Javon Bertrand will be our chief consecrator, uh, Reverend Dr. George Anderson will be our homilist. Amen. Uh, our, our apostle, um, Heather Price, will be here. Our apostle, T.D. Walker, will be here. Our chief apostle, James Price, will be in the building. Uh, our pastor, Hassan Douglas, is in the building. Uh, our overseer, Karan Walker Seals, is in the building. Our overseer, Marty Stevenson, is in the building. Uh, Minister Naquan Hope will be in the ministry of the song. Uh, the Ferguson family will be in ministry of the song. Uh, Eminem. Uh, will be in ministry in song. Our elder, uh, Demetrius Adams, will be here in mind. Uh, he's also backing up Eminem because they requested for their own to be on the mic. Uh, amen. amen. Uh, good God, who am I missing? Uh, our, our pastor, Jamil Persons, will be here. Amen. Uh, Lord, our first family will be here. Um, so I'm just excited. Amen. And what God is doing, my sister's coming. Amen. Uh, my, my cousin's sisters are coming. Um, I, I'm just excited. Amen. What God is doing. Uh, we are still getting emails. We are still getting uh, requests. Uh, my village mom says she'll be here. My, my village brother is flying in from Phoenix. Amen. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I don't know what other things are coming, but I'm challenging all of them to be here. <laughs> Amen. Um, I, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I, and, and, and I said... Um, the other day on Facebook, I, I went from Lord, let this person come and this person come to Lord, let your will be done. That's your will be done. You know, that whatever you do, God, shift. Amen. Um, that those who walk in, they walk in not just to support you, but they walk in expecting something from God. And as they come through, you shift. Meet them at the door. Amen. Um, so that. It's not about me, but he gets the glory. Yes, Amen. Sir, yes, sir. And, and that's been my whole uh, my whole uh, scope and my whole vision for this reaffirmation that it's not about me. Amen. Uh, we're just coming to do the will of God. 
Amen. Um, because it had it had to be done regardless. But Amen. Um, we have a tendency of making ordinations about the person and not about the man we serve. And, and I believe that God is expecting something out of this affirmation that's going to shift lives. I believe, uh, amen, that the next day people will join that I didn't even notice joining. I didn't see joining. Amen. But I just believe God is doing something crazy. Amen. The programs are done. I have, uh, uh, I got to do 25 more of the, uh, the, the out pages, uh, the cover pages, um, I got to do uh, 10 more complete programs for the pulpit, amen, and, um, and the programs are done, uh, the plates are purchased for our caterer, uh, cups, knives, and spoons done, uh, saucers done, uh, the caterer is covered, uh, we got to get, uh, I, I got the decorations coming in, uh, I got, got, a got, God is moving. God is moving. My aunt called me and said, don't worry about the centerpieces. I got them. I said, well, bless the Lord. Um, so those are done. I just got to pick those up from her. Uh, the uh, person who's going to help me decorate will be here uh, the Friday before. I'm, I'm off that Friday, so I'm going to knock my hair out in the morning, uh, and then I'm going to get myself prepared. I'll be here at 5 to start decorating the fellowship hall, uh, but we got the tablecloths, and, the, 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 uh, and, and they're real, amen, because uh, I was like, I'm not going to no plastics, Jesus. Um, we got great looking silverware, and we got 600 plates, amen, for the price of, of 100 plates. Um, we, we got about 400 um, saucers, amen, for the price of like 50 uh, packs, of, you know, so God God just threw things at us, and I was, and I was taking it. He did it again. Because he did it again. I just said, God, you, you're making the way easy. You're making the way so easy, you know, um, things got to get covered afterwards, but we bless the Lord, amen, um, and, and God is just doing something that we did not expect God to do. I said, God, I'm we're not going to let no situations hinder what has to get done. And uh, my mom said, what you doing? I said, I'm way to be things. I want to price something. I got there. I said, I ain't pricing. I'm buying. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> God, God just began to move. Um, and so, and then when I got to ring up the stuff, and, and my mom kept looking at the register, and I'm looking at the register, and I said, now, wait a minute. That's not the price that was back there. Uh, that's definitely cheaper. Um Okay, uh, so so God just began to do it, and I began to say, yes, God, we got candy for the pulpit, the nurse's station, uh, we got the towels, amen, are here already uh, for the pulpit, uh, we got the glasses here for the pulpit, um, I'm picking up uh, four more glasses, amen, so that the pulpit is covered as a whole, uh, we got... Uh, the dish to put the candy in, amen. Uh, tea kettle's ready to go. Uh, tea's coming in this week. Um, I got, you know, God just began to pour. You know, get this, get this, get this. You know, uh, I see some glass mugs I want to go get, amen. Uh, so they need tea in the pulpit. We'll have that, pick up some lemons, amen, uh, and slice them down and make it real cute for them. Uh, we got to, uh, we, we just, I, I just want this thing to be in such excellence. <laughs> That people look back and say, oh, okay, this is how y'all move up there. You know, I, I need to join a breakthrough. Uh, you know, because God is just, there's work to be done. So we, we want to um, let everyone know uh, on the 17th, we are opening the doors at 11.15 uh, for the public to come in. If you're on the program, amen, in any capacity of the program, you are expected to be here by 10 a.m. per our chief consecrator, amen, at the latest. I will be here at 8.30 to prepare for our caterers. Um, when they get here, I think she says she's coming in around 9-ish because uh, what she cooking ain't going to take all day, praise the Lord. Um, but we'll be able to get the kitchen and ready to go so that by the time we get down there between two and three, uh, everything will be set up, ready to go, looking lovely, smelling great. Amen. I said, oh, let the aroma flow to the upstairs. Amen. Um, but I, I'm just excited um, at what God is doing uh, for that service. On February um, 
on this Tuesday, let's start there. We'll have new members class. Uh, it will be virtual. Amen. Um, we are going to kick it off uh, without the new members handbooks. Um, I was waiting, but I will have those here next week. Um, we were waiting on the binders for those, but I will. Um, we're going to kick it off this Tuesday at 7. It will be virtual, so do expect a Zoom uh, link to be hitting your emails on Monday or your text messages on Monday. I am expecting everyone to be tuned in on time at 8.30. All members of the house, amen. Uh, we're going to kick off new members, Claire's, on, on the 23rd, amen, at 11 a.m. Uh, we have the... Uh, we will be with Christ Center for those who can't make it because that is a Friday, amen, but we will be having the street renaming, amen, for Overseer McRae. Uh, the city uh, will be sending me the uh, program this week. Um, that is a tedious task, amen, um, but thanks be unto God. Uh, as Bishop said, he did it again, uh, and so we are uh, going to be kicking off his 100th birthday. Amen. Uh, if McRae was living, he would have been 100 years old. Amen. But his family will be here along with Christ Center uh, on the 23rd at 11 a.m. Uh, so we are going to be in fellowship with them. Amen. On that Friday. On that Sunday, the 25th, it is our first family Sunday. Amen. Now we have options. We'll discuss them after church if we want to continue to flow with it or if we want to push it. Amen. And, and, and kind of just postpone to the next one, which I think is scheduled for April, because March is only uh, Sundays. Amen. Um, for Easter Resurrection Week. So we, we will discuss after service what we want to do. Amen. Um, with that situation. Amen. But we are going to flow. Uh, March, we have a lot of things. We have Palm Sunday. Amen. We have uh, a Good Friday service that Friday night. At 7 30, um, Minister uh, Terry Castle Ferguson has confirmed of everybody we sent information to. So I'm going to resend information to some other folk. Amen. Um, if, you're, if you're watching and, and, and you have received a letter, please understand two things about Apostle Harris. Um, I don't beg and I don't plead. Amen. Um, I give you time to respond, and if you don't, I keep moving forward. What that tells me is this might not be a good connection for us. Amen. Uh, our minister, our, our pastor, Hassan Douglas, will be here for our family Sunday in April. He has confirmed, along with uh, Jesus Christ Covenant Ministries, we are excited to receive them. Uh, they will be pulling in around 1.30ish. Amen. We'll eat first. And then we'll go right into service. We'll be in the crypt that day. Um, but we'll, we'll go right into service after we feed. Amen. For that family Sunday. So I'm excited. I'm excited at what God is doing. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk to a couple people and see if I can get them to cook. And uh, so I don't have to. And we're going to be ready uh, at what God will do for that family Sunday. And we're going to make it real smooth. Amen. It'll be a real smooth. Uh, a meal, but we thank the Lord. Um, but that is the upcoming announcements. Don't forget that we are preparing to go to Africa. Amen. In 2025. Don't, uh, also remember that convocation is coming back in 2025. Amen. We will be at Walt Disney World. Our theme will be removing, breaking the family curse will be our theme. Amen. Uh, of uh, a week long celebration, four days or uh, three days of service. Amen. Um, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe is what I said for service. Um, the Disney team has reached back out to me, uh, so we are now getting ready to start preparing the preparations, amen. Uh, but they are excited to receive us. They are uh, doing a wonderful discount. <laughs> but, but I'm excited. They just want to see what we need. They're like, you know, we noticed that you said this many rooms, but you're thinking this many people, and how many people going to show up? And I said, listen, we opened it up to the whole Orlando area. So right. I don't know how many people are going to show up. If I have my way, we'll shut your whole place. Them. But you know, <laughs> I just want God to remove this thing uh, called family curses. And if we don't yeah. deal with them, they'll never be dealt with. Yeah, so yeah. the reason uh, we opened it for the week is because it gives families a chance to come in, amen, to enjoy the park, enjoy themselves, amen, before and after uh, we in church service. So we bless the Lord. Um, this convocation will be like no other. I am declaring that. Uh, and I'm decreeing that churches are going to come in, amen, before we even get to convocation so that when we get there, we will be ready to, to do what the Lord says do, amen. 
So I'm excited um, at that. Are there any there, are there any birthdays this month? I know Pastor Glenn's birthday is uh, this month. Uh, amen. But is there any birthdays this month? I'm trying to remember. Moniz is in March. Amen. So if there's no birthdays this month, for those in our e-church family, if your birthday is this month, happy birthday to you. Amen. We are excited about you seeing another year to everybody who's watching. Um, through our e stream and our e church family, we're excited that you have seen another birthday. Praise Amen. the Lord. I, and we hope that God blesses you with many, many more birthdays as we continue to do the will of the Lord. Let's go into the word. Amen. Uh, this is a familiar scripture. I do believe um, that everybody knows this scripture by heart. If you don't somehow somewhere along the way you have missed Sunday school amen um, I'm just going to be a hundred with you it's one of the first scriptures we learned so you can probably already guess where we're going John come on sir uh, <laughs> and we are uh, we are are going into our new series amen our new series um, which is entitled Slow Jams. Now, I'm going to tell you how I got this series. Um, the Lord, amen, because I was originally calling this series Matters of the Heart, and the Lord said, no, we're going to flip some scripts, okay? Uh, anybody who knows me knows, okay, I, I, I have my own sewing room now, amen, because um, I'm trying to learn things to kind of just keep myself creative, amen, to keep my mind thinking. I'm a, I'm a left-handed person, so we're creative, and I learn we think from the creativity side of our brain cells. And so I, I have a sewing room now. And uh, for Christmas, I got a record player, um, an old school vinyl record player. And, and I said, but this one is kind of hot. It got Bluetooth on it. I, I said, oh, OK. I said, all right, Mom, you did your thing on this, because I wasn't expecting it. I already knew what I asked for. I asked for a sewing machine. Amen. I got the sewing machine, but then um, it was a box under the tree, and I kept saying, what is in this box? And my mom's like, did you open your other gift? And I said, my other gift. You know, so I went under the tree, and I began to shake the box, because I'm still a big kid at heart, and I want to know what you got before I open it. And I was like, all right, it's kind of heavy. Might be my PS5. I've only been asking for it for about four years now. Uh, and, you know, so I opened it up, and it was uh, it was an old school phonograph machine. And the first thing, amen, that came into my head is, do you know how many slow jams I'm about to bump <laughs> on this thing? No uh, because when I think of old school, uh, sonic, you know, the, the old school phono, phonograph records. Vinyl, amen. I think of like Man in the Mirror. I go back to my first, Mickey Howard, Karen White. I go back to my first, uh, my first album I had got was uh, LL Cool J's I Need Love because back then they, that's when they used to have the single on vinyl and, the, and it had four of the single versions. It was the extended, it was the radio, it was the instrumental, amen. Uh, because they're gonna see if you're gonna learn this thing for real. Um, I think Thriller. Amen. Um, and so I was like, Ooh. you know, but then as I began to really think, I was like, you know, uh, Mark uh, Overseer teases me a lot because I'll be listening to some old school music or even some new school slow jams sometimes. And uh, and somehow, some way, Jesus would just come right out in the middle of that thing and he'll be like, or hallelujah, and he'll be like, dude, this ain't even gospel. <laughs> But I was just like, you know, it's like, you know, you ever have a slow jam you listen to and it just take you to, you know, forget who I'm trying to date. Uh -oh. This don't even sound like you, but Jesus, when I think about it, come you on, know, sir, of, on, of how you loved me when I didn't even deserve to be loved, you know, where was you at then? You know, or, or, you know, or, or, or how you kept me when I didn't even want to keep myself, you know, you ever listen to Mickey Howard's Love Under New Management, and the first thing she says is experience is a good teacher. It takes a fool like me to learn, you know, and I was like, you know, experience sure did teach me a lot. It taught me that I was so stupid to deal man. with you. Come on, old man. Watch yourself, sir. <laughs> you know, but it taught me some things. You know, LL said, when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. But what if my conscience don't call? What if my spirit just talks? Come on, sir. Yeah. Come on, sir. So, Come on. so, so I begin to really dig in this thing, like, oh, slow jams. I like this. You know, uh, you know, Mike said, I'm going to make a change for once in my life. Now, 
not not over and over again, but for the first time ever, I'm gonna make a change, and it's starting with me. You know, and so the Lord began to deal with me on this month because not only is it Black History Month, but it's also Black Music Month. And so the Lord said, I want you to teach the people um, just, but think of some slow jams that you, you listen to, you know. And, and so today um, I was preparing for something different. I, I prepared a whole different, a, a, a whole different message. And I woke up this morning and I began to do my morning prayer and the Lord shifted. Um, so, so what I was going to preach next week. Um, I'm, I'm now preaching this week, and then when I'm going to preach this week, I'm going to flip to next week. But either way, you're going to hear both of them. Uh, <laughs> um, but I, and then I had a topic for this week, and, and I'm still trying to figure out if I want to go with that topic. Um, you know, um, but I think I am. Um, but I'm going I'm to subtopic it. If that's all right, amen. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep it like it is. So this week, I'm gonna touch on the thought, the greatest love of all, the greatest love of all. Um, Whitney wrote this song as a dedication to children. Uh, in fact, the song says, "I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a chance to say. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children laugh to remind them, remind us how it used to be. Um, I, I, I believe, and, and Janelle, don't, 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 don't jump on me because I can feel you um, talking about that. Ain't the lyrics? Um, that's my karaoke partner, um, but uh, she, she's part of our e church family. Um, but I do believe, I do believe that in in, in a season we're in. Um, I believe that God is speaking to us when he's when 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 we get to the book of St. John, amen. And John says in here um, in the 16th verse of chapter 3, this is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and the only son. And this is why. So that no one need be destroyed by believing in him. Anyone can have a whole and lasting life by believing in him. Anyone can have a whole and lasting life. Now, the King James says, for God so loved the world that gave. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. This is how much he loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son, that no one need be destroyed by believing in him. Anyone can have a whole and lasting life. Um, I, I really want to preach, um, if I can, this week on this topic, the greatest love of all, because we, we sometimes, I believe, we have become so selfish and so entitled um, as adults that we forget the power of our children. Um, so I'm going to talk two, two ways this week. I'm going to talk to us as a person, but I'm also going to talk to us as a parent. Amen. Um, I'm going to talk to us as a person uh, because we also forget how much we're loved. We, we seek love. This is, this is love month. This February. It's, it's Valentine's Day month, and everybody uh, wants to be booed up by Valentine's Day uh, just to be single by spring. Um, everybody everybody uh, loves to be booed up twice a year, Valentine's Day and Christmas. Uh, we we love we love Valentine's Day because we get gifts and and then for most of the sinners out there we get some amen um, but then we oh I'm gonna keep it a hundred because one thing I don't do is sugarcoat amen um, so we love Valentine's Day because it's a season of love amen and so we 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 put better way to be loved than to be loved on the day where some mysterious creature with wings and a diaper shoots you in your behind and tells you this person is who you're meant to be with uh, but we also love. Uh, 
uh, to be loved on uh, during Christmas time because that's when the big gifts come. Valentine's Day uh, generally is known because we're able to get, uh, for many people, that's when they get engaged. Uh, for many people, that's also when they get pregnant. Uh, we, we, we look at one, we miss the other. Uh, we, we get the big trips or we get the big dinners. Uh, and amen. On uh, Valentine's Day, we don't get Applebee's. We get, we get the melting pot because they want to show off on Valentine's Day. They don't tell us in advance is that you got to cook your own food at the melting pot. But they take us to uh, the melting pot. I like the melting pot. Uh, they, they, they take us to Firebirds. They take us to... Uh, 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 Come on, keep naming them. Uh, all these, there we go. All these big old restaurants that got seventy dollar menus, and 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 most of the time we go broke trying to show off for somebody who we won't even show off to our friends. Let's just yeah. keep it a hundred, amen. Um, and we do it in the sense of privacy. I keep my personal life private because I don't want nobody to know who I'm dealing with unless this is the person I plan to marry. Now, what I was taught growing up was if you don't see yourself with the person, there's categories you put a person in. And if you can't see yourself with the person, why would you show off to a person that you don't see yourself with? That's just foolishness if you ask me. And so we get to a point of our lives where we become comfortable with being burdened in the name of love. Because at the end of tonight, guess what? Somebody's sleeping in my bed. And so we we get happy. We we get uh we get joyous. We we get ready to do things that we ain't did in a minute and once again to show off to somebody that we won't even show off to. Come on, uh, stay with me. And so, uh, yep, some of y'all leaving off of Facebook right now. I didn't peed off somebody. Uh, so I've learned uh, in this season uh, that we we come uh, with love on our minds. Where we become we become uh, like Natalie Cole. We got love on our mind. There's nothing uh, we can't resist. I'm gonna leave it right there because uh, I'll go through the whole song because that, that's my jam. But we come and we get excited about this season we call love. Uh, 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 as a parent, it kind of flips the script um, because while we support our children, uh, what behooves me is that we don't teach our children that love starts in us. Uh, if you don't love you, uh, who gonna love you? Uh, if, 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 if you don't care about you, uh, nobody else can care about you. If you don't speak over yourself, no matter how many compliments you get in life, uh, you will never believe the things that come out of somebody else's mouth because it never first started within yourself. I don't care how many people tell you you're beautiful. I don't care how many people tell you you're handsome. I don't care how many people say, you know, you got a cute smile on you. If you never looked in the mirror and told yourself that you are all that in a bag of chips, nobody else's thoughts would matter uh, because it's called self-esteem for a reason. And many of us have esteem, but we don't have esteem of self. We're able to tell uh, Brother Chris, you know, you got muscles for days. You look good walking through the streets, but then we go home and we feel um, some type of way because the same thing we spoke to him, we can't speak about ourselves. On, sir, we, on, we, we, we got issues. We got issues. And, and yep, I just pissed somebody else off because it dropped again. Uh, yeah, so um, I, hey, I'm just looking at the eyeballs. Uh, so we, we're in a season of love and uh, what I've learned in this season of love, Bishop, is that we have gotten love all twisted and all messed up. We we uh, we think love means that I'm able to walk hand in hand uh, with somebody that is in the physical sense, and uh, as long as they buy me a uh, dinner, get my hair done and my nails done, uh, 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 we got something special. I, I I don't like talking to teenagers because they don't understand the concept of love, and most of it is because most of them have never experienced true love from their parents. Uh, they they don't know love. 
They don't understand uh, that God uh, loves them because we don't even make them come to church anymore. We give them options and yes, we yes, let God. them have choices and we let them feel like they're important. Uh, but we, we we know they are friends. They're not our children anymore. They're our friends. And, and so we give them options and we let them think that we're the cool parent because yeah, we don't make yeah. you do the things that we should make you do, but we let you choose for yourself what you would do. Forget about the fact that the Bible says, choose ye this day who you will serve, uh, because many of us have left the Lord so long ago uh, that we don't even understand that our children are going to hell in a handbasket, and we're the ones who's delivering them to the devil. Uh, but we serve a God who loves us in spite of ourselves, that he said, even if you make your bed in hell, I'll be right there with you. And so we we forget who we serve. We, we forget that the Bible says if you train a child in the way that they should go, uh, when they get older, they may try to depart, uh, but they can't depart. They may go a separate way, but he'll still be with them in the midst. And so we have a lot of loveless people in a loveless world trying to find love in all the wrong places, not understanding the power of love, nor do they understand the fact that when you are love, love won't leave you alone. <laughs> I like that. So, so, Whitney uh, wrote a song uh, that was geared to blessing babies, and it became one of the top telling, top selling songs of all time, the top listened to songs of all time. And in my day of radio, uh, Amen, you had to call and request songs, yeah, and it became the top requested song. They played it in the daytime, and then they played it again uh, somehow, some way uh, during the quiet storm. I don't quite understand why are you playing a song about children during the quiet storm, Tony Brown. God rest your soul. But I understood one thing that this girl was popular and she knew what she was talking about. But when we flip the script, uh, I believe that Whitney understood one thing. If we lead a child and we teach them how powerful they are, then we will have children who are able to grow up being adults who understand how powerful they are. But my Bible says that there was a love that was greater than uh, Whitney's love of children, and that love came from our Father, who sits high and looks low, and it said that he gave his only begotten son, his only son. Now, I don't, let me put a, a pause uh, right there. I don't know about you, but if I only had one, and I had a nation of people that were serving me, and I had a choice to make between my child in this nation to hell, you will lift up your eyes. But God loved us so much that he told his only son that I'm going to cut your life short, and I'm going to give you to this nation that you will come and you will be the one who saves the entire nation. Uh, I'm going to give one person for the lives of many. I'm going to do an exchange program that this one thing I sow can shift the life of everything I create. And God gave his only begotten son that what whosoever believeth in him. Now I like the message Bible. The message Bible says and this is why he gave his son that nobody no one, not one soul need be destroyed but by believing in him anyone can have a whole and lasting life. You want to know why the world is going through hell in a handbasket? Because most of the people walking the earth has not even understood their whole lives that they're already made whole. Uh, many people that walking the earth does not understand that God had loved you so much uh, back over 3,000 years ago that when he gave Christ, he knew that in 2024, you will be going through the things that you're going through the day. Watch this. But the thing that you're going through could not destroy you. Amen. But you will already be made whole and your life won't end here, but it will be ever lasting. Uh, the greatest love of all. Uh, Wendy said, if uh, it's happening to me, uh, I found the greatest love of all. And, and it was uh, inside of me. Many of us miss the, the clue right there that everything I'm looking for walking this land, I already possess it but it sits on the inside of me. When I read my Bible, Bishop, I found out that inside of me is where the spirit dwells.
dwells inside of me. And that was the very thing that I believe when the enemy snuck his butt up into heaven to see who he could test. Before God said, let me test Job, he already knew what was inside of Job. I believe, Bishop, that the inside of me is the thing that connects me to my father. And because he knows my voice, when I'm groaning, he understands what I'm going through. When I'm moaning in the midnight hour, he knows if I'm in pain or if I'm just sick of being tired. He understands where my loneliness is, but he also understands where my expectation lies. That's why he loves me so much he won't just present any old thing to me, but he gives me the finer things in life. Because inside of me is the greatest love of all. I found uh, the greatest love of all. I found uh, that when I sit myself down and I think things over, uh, when the doctor said there's nothing else I can do, Jesus stepped in. Uh, uh, when my friends and my family forsake me, Jesus stepped in. Uh, when I was out in the world and ducking and dodging the bullets, Jesus stepped in. When, 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 when the church didn't understand who I was in God. Jesus stepped in. When uh, my mind was shifted in, I didn't know which way to go. Jesus stepped in. Why? Because I didn't have to look for something that was just resting in me. I never had to go out and seek things when it's just sitting on the inside, dying to get to the outside. Uh, I believe it was a gospel song uh, that said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can say, I found, I found, I found uh, the greatest love of all. I'm going to tell y'all uh, one thing I've learned. No matter how much you love your kids, there's somebody who loves them more than you. Uh, no matter how much you honor your children, there's somebody who honors them more than you. No matter how uh, you direct the paths of your children's lives, there's somebody who will direct their paths just a little bit better than you. Uh, the Bible says that he loved us so much that he gave his only. His only. His, his only. His, his only. Uh, he didn't even want to have no more. If he wanted more, he would just speak them out into existence. But he didn't even need no more because he understood that there's one would bring forth others. Yes, sir. Isn't it funny how uh, I can put something into the ground uh, and when it goes into the ground, if the, from the root of it, seedlings break out? Ooh, y'all listen. Come on, son. Come on, come on. There, there, there are two types of plants you plant. Uh, there, there's a perennial and then there's an annual. Uh, the annual you plant uh, and the annual don't come back. I don't understand why they call it annual, but the annual plants last one year. But a perennial plant, uh, if you plant it in the ground this year, if I put it uh, in front of this window, uh, by next time this year, it will be in front of both of the windows. By the year after that, uh, it has now sprouted three whole heads, if not four, because every seed that breaks produces another seed. Isn't it Funny how we miss the fact that if one person gets saved, the angels rejoice. Uh, but the one person goes out and he'll grab another person, amen, and then that person gets saved and the angels rejoice. Those two go out and grab one person apiece and they come into the church and they get saved and the angels rejoice. We miss the idea of multiplication uh, because the people that we're going to reach is out here looking for love. They're, they're looking to feel appreciated. They're looking to feel needed. They're looking to feel like they'll have a place of belonging. And they're looking to feel like I got somebody who will have my back come with me. And this whole time, uh, we've been out here uh, going from pillar to post, uh, from every Jane, Dick, uh, Tom, and John, and we still have not found the one person who's never left the same position. This week, this week, our task is easy. This week, all you gotta do is tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Lord. Why, why am I thanking him, Apostle? Because he's giving us the greatest thing we could ever have. And that's simply his son. I, I have a son. I, I had two. One the world took. 
are technically had more than that. But the world took. And, and the one that the world took, uh, he was just beginning to blossom in the ministry. And, and I was just leaving the hospital. I still had my, my, my heart monitor on uh, because they attached it to me when I walked out the hospital because they wanted to make sure that no matter what, my heart didn't drop. My rate of my heart didn't drop. And they said, you gotta listen to this because the louder it gets, the closer you are to death. And, and the, new, the one that's still here, uh, you, both of them, uh, have children. Dre has a son uh, that we just found out about uh, a couple of father days ago, five fathers days ago, uh, and Brahim uh, has has two boys and a girl. Amen. Uh, and and, I, and and as I was in my manifestation period, Amen. Uh, and I began to write uh, because anybody who knows my situation knows that I, it wasn't my seed that created my children, but it was my love that raised them. Come on, somebody. That, that's a preach right there. Yeah, that's so come on, somebody. And so while my seed wasn't what created the children, it was my love that raised them. Uh, and I said to my son, if I can give you advice, I'm going to end the letter with advice, because one of the, the tasks we had to do was write a letter to your child. Now, where the church missed it, I promise you this, where the church missed it was they looked at that day and they said, I ain't got no kids. So... I can skip this day of manifestation. No, 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 no. The Bible that the Spirit said to me, put this on the on the paper. Write a letter to your children and present it to them. It didn't say when you was having children, and it didn't say when you was presenting it to them. It just said write it and present it. And so I promise you, ninety percent of the church missed it. And so I wrote the letter and I sent it to him, amen. And I knew he was in church, so I knew he wouldn't read it in church because if he does, uh, they're gonna look over to the drums and say, why is this fool crying? Uh, and it ain't gonna have nothing to do with the word. Uh, but I told him in the letter, if I can give you one advice, uh, let me tell you this, treat all your children equally and love on them equally. Then come back to you and take time to love on yourself. Why? Why did you tell him that, Apostle? Because we must have a reason to tell God thank you. That goes deeper than he woke me up this morning. It has to go deeper than I have the activities of our limbs. It has to go deeper than uh, I got food in my cabinets. It got to go deeper than I got clothes uh, on my back. It, it has to go deeper than well, you gave me these children and all that they get on my nerves, I'm grateful for them. No, 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 no. How deep is your love? How deep can you go that you realize that God was so selfless that he gave a selfish nation? Uh -oh. a, a, a selfless person who did a selfless act and never wanted nothing in return but a thank you. The greatest love of all is inside of me. If my love don't shine from here, it ain't worth a hill of beans. Because if I don't see your love, if I don't feel your love, Bishop said today in his testimony, I thank God for a covering who loves you enough to cover you because I can feel him covering me. If, if you don't feel God, with all that's going on in this world, don't look in the world, search yourself and ask God, what am I missing? The greatest love of all sits here. It, it sits here and every now and again, I feel it kicking. Every now and again, it gets me real hot. Every now and again, I feel it creeping to the outside. Every now and again, it makes me say things I wouldn't normally say. Every now and again, it makes me change my sense of direction. Every now and again, it allows me to see things I've never seen before. And the closer I get to it, the better it feels. The, the more I love on him, the better he feels. The, the more, 
I'm like in vogue. I'm giving him something he can feel because if he can feel me, I'll feel him even more. If he knows I love him, good God, I'll feel his love even more. And when I can't think of nothing else, I heard the writer say it was love that lifted me when nothing else would help. When I couldn't go to my mama because she just wouldn't answer the phone. I, I'm like Lenny Williams. I picked up the phone and I knocked on the door but my knocks went unanswered. I, I called my best friend and my best friend thought I was foolish. Uh, but it takes a fool to love when love don't love nobody. And I've learned, Bishop, that in all of the things I think about, there's a right, like he Sweat said, and a wrong way to love somebody. And if I bless him, he'll bless me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, when is it my time? Bless me. <laughs> Jabez just wanted an enlarged territory and all it took was a simple love letter and the Lord said there you have February is 28 days this year 29 because it's leap day the challenge is wake up every day and just tell God thank you and as you tell God thank you all I want you to do is remember the things he's done for you. I believe this year, God's doing something different in this month of love. He's, he's allowing us to weep more. Uh, he's going to allow us to be in touch with our inner beings more. Many, many women don't, they, they, don't treat their, they don't teach their sons it's okay to cry. And I believe uh, that's why many of our men are, are racked in their brains because they don't realize that crying does two things. It releases and it, and it mends at the same time. It releases the pressure, but it mends the broken heart. And so I, I challenge you this, this, this month to find the part of you that you don't reveal to nobody but yourself and find your reason to tell God thank you. And as you do, Watch how God begins to flip the script even more. Has January not already blessed you? Has God not shown himself to be God? That even when we get into situations that we don't know how we would get out of, God delivers. I've I, I, I seen God turn a sentence of 40 into a time served of four. And so, he's God. he's God, but he loves us so much that he gave up something innocent to die into something gruesome. Yes. Yes. And we miss the whole horror story. And so we go looking for this horror nightmare in Freddy Krueger and in Jason and in Michael Myers, but we never once look to the cross. To our friends that are watching by eChurch, we thank you. And if you're not saved, I just say that you say this simple prayer with me. Father, I thank you for waking me up. I thank you for giving me your son, Jesus Christ. I believe he died for me on the cross. And I believe that while this was yet a gruesome, uh, horrible experience, God, that something born of a virgin would die such a horrible way, I also believe he got up for me. In fact, it didn't take him a lifetime. It took him three days. He got up for me, and he sat right next to you with all power in his hands. Father, now I ask that you forgive me for the things I've done to myself. Because I acknowledge that, Father, when I did it to me, I was also committing the same crime to you. I was trying to kill me, but in the presence of me killing me, I was killing Jesus all over again. So, Father, forgive me. Father, not just forgive me, but help me forgive myself. And help me serve and please you. Because, Father, I believe that from this day forward, you're about to shift my life. And if you're sitting home doing nothing, that's the place you praise him. Because not only did you just give your life to God, but you just spoke to the devil that nothing you can do from hell will take me out from here. 
We rejoice in knowing that you gave your life to God, and if you're looking for a church home, simply type into your chat box, that is me, I'm looking for a church home, and myself or Bishop will reach out to you this week. To those who are here, because we're already saved and we're in the household of faith, we thank God for you. So we just ask that you take this as not just a chance to grow, but take this as a lesson learned that I was looking for love in the wrong places. I, 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 <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't in church, I said the way I feel it, but because it's my church, I'm going to say it anyhow. I, 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 I kissed my way there, it didn't work. I ate my way there, it didn't work. I screwed my way there, it didn't work. And now I'm trying to figure out what did I miss. You missed the fact that the greatest love of all was already sitting inside of you. Learn to love yourself. Whitney said, learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. Why did God so love the world that he gave his only begotten son? Because God loved himself and he loved us. And Christ died because of his love for us. That the Holy Spirit may rest in us. And he will perform through us. This is the greatest love of all. And until next time, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide as we're preparing for our offering in us from this day forth. You can give by texting the word give to 302-742-1860. Text the word give to 302-742-1860. One eight six zero. You can give through cash at, at dollar sign G E W C C, or you can give to our best, get our offering best. We have envelopes, however which way you're giving, and you're in the house. Please make sure you fill out an envelope for those that are in our E Church family. We will see your gift if you text it, uh, and we will make sure you credit it to your account. But once again, we can't credit you unless you belong to the family. So simply put, that is me. I'm looking for a church. May the Lord bless you. That is our prayer.